Fuera. Fuere. Um, y yendo, 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 yendo. Ido. Entonces ahí todo es, es bastante difícil conjugar. Con, con lugar, con si dice. Yeah, a lot. Actually, you, you have to, to, to know by heart mm. a lot of those words. So, guys, what are the plan? What is the plan? Don Naranja. Yeah. Quiero que vayas conmigo. Now I have to subtitle everything. Are you going to speak in Spanish? Solo voy a hablar en castellano. Ah. También solo voy a hablar en el subjuntivo. Great. <risa> Great. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué Encantada. Tal? Eres el super cámara, ¿no? <risa> Quítalo de super. Vale. <risa> ¿Qué, John? So, this is your favorite part of this gym. So, I have a pretty sweet. We're currently in the, uh, the garage. Okay. Next to some nice cars, which always helps. But this is like the CrossFit section mm -hmm. in the basement. But then actually, when you go up, you see like um, they have like tennis courts over there. And then as we come to the top, they've got like a huge like global gym area, which is really nice for doing accessory work and stuff that we'll go up to and do a bit there. <laughs> and then they've got a pool. Oh. And then the piece de resistance, the sauna. And cold pool. We have to do cold. This is quiet compared to C23, huh? This is quiet, yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy it. In Norway, it was, uh, was it quiet as well? Uh, the, the gym that I trained at, well, I think it's, it's like always, it depends on what time you get into gyms, and now there's no classes running, so then it's quiet. And the gym that I trained at in Norway was kind of the same, like the mornings were quiet, but then at four o'clock it started getting, you know. Yeah. People started finishing work. And But do you prefer full, uh, with people or I like maybe? The mix. I like the mix. I like mix. Yeah. So it's quite because when you you know you spend so much time in the gym, so it's nice that sometimes it's quiet. Yeah. But you know the having the people around and like the energy of the people can really push you through sometimes as well. So I, I like the mix of like some quietness, but then also some some chaos. <laughs> and also with this guy. That's always chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Five right. Let's see. Five. Wow. What is going on? Death jumps? No clue. I don't have those uh, fast clips in my kitchen. This is Manny's jam. Yeah. Luckily, I'm filming. The Colombians do a lot of fire. For <laughs> me. Is he it's not skipping? Listening. Yeah. He's not listening to what I'm saying. Now you are the coach, right? <laughs> I'm trying. He's not <laughs> listening, so it's not working. One more, John. <laughs> what did we just do? Yeah. 20 minute, Mom. Run, track bar deadlift, salt bike, and burpee push and bonus. Five rounds. So. How was it for you? It's nice. I think that like with the workout like this, I think everyone like it feels the same for everyone because yeah. you can just you know you, you push harder, do more reps. But it's nice to move. Yeah, even for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, John? How's it going? Did you have fun? I think it's a good one to do like classic CrossFit. Yeah. Hey, mom. You can kind of push as hard as you like. It was nice, it was like, we did, did just did 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, 
and actually the, the 20 seconds rest it make it a lot easier like you could you could, you could recover in that time yeah it's good to start to be a professional wave lifter for me <laughs> You can wait to do it, right? Pump is great. It's, it's a different kind of pain, that like the the squat CrossFit pain. Yeah. I feel like my muscles going to break. I had to change the bounce plan. Do you want to know a secret, Manu? Yeah. Do you want to know a secret? What? I'm like. Um, one of the kings of leg extension. Do a what? Leg extension. He's actually proud to be the king of leg extension. I don't know. I don't know why, but like I'm just very strong at leg extension. Introduce this, John. He's a witness. So you have like. 131 kilos. Yeah. Pull up on that. Yeah. Pull up on that. Come on. Fuck. No big butt. But uh, if I have to do hamstring, I can only do 10 kilos. <laughs> How was your first day? Amazing! It was really fun. Yeah? Yeah. Which were the results? The results? Yeah. Uh, two heat wins and a second place. Wow, so that's great! I'm leading today, which is really fun. Yeah. Which are your uh, expectations for this second day? Uh, I don't know, just try to do my best. Yeah? My, the workouts aren't my favorite, but like they're still fun. So. How Dom is helping you during this competition? Like, what? how uh, Dom is helping you during this competition? How he's helping me? Yeah, like, uh, are you preparing anything uh, in particular or just, which is your goal for uh, this comp? My goal is just to get some more uh, competition experience. Yeah. Uh, and he's really helping you with that, you know, try to see uh, mistakes as learning and just try to enjoy it. Okay, cool. Which are your expectations for this next workout with the rock climb and the run? My expectations? Yeah. It's going to be hard. <laughs> it's going to go fast. Yeah. So I'll just have to give it my all. Okay. Well, thank you very much and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Dom, yes. are we ready? We are. <laughs> Now, in which lane is her? Um, Anina is right here, lane 10. Lane 10. Seven rope climbs. Then we got a 400 meter run on the two from runner, which probably will blow up the legs like a lot. And then we have a uh, yeah, lunch, overhead lunch sprint until the finish line. So, we're really quite impressed. She seems really confident. Yeah. Just having fun, enjoying the experience. Yeah, it's all about this. <laughs> and uh, winning. Sin problema, y donde tocará sufrir será en el más grande del lunch. Apretar los dientes, intentar no fallar, bloquear bien y, y asegurar las tiradas. Y, porque ahí al final un, un error y no, no puede llegar a la marca te penaliza muchísimo y es un desgaste bastante importante. O sea que más o menos te ves bien para el siguiente. Sí, sí, sí. Movimiento favorito del de siguiente. Movimiento favorito del siguiente, rock climb. Overhead, overhead lunge no es mi favorito. <risa>
I like to match the rock climbs. Uh, it's important to have pace in the, the first two uh, exercises. Just pace the, the rock climb, pace the, the running, because when you get the overhead lunges, the overhead lunges is really tough when you have sore, sore things in your, in your arms and you have to weigh 85 kilos and 12 meters. That sometimes you think it's not to land, but when you start to do it, it's a oof. <laughs> it's too far, yeah, but too I, I enjoy it a lot and I think it's amazing. Yeah. How do you find your training with Raul and the program? Well, I like too much, I change uh, everything because Raul is a very meticulous uh, guy, he loves the technique. Uh, it is the, it's much more important to do the things in a good way yeah. and after the, the performance uh, instead of Good, uh, have a good performance and do uh, things like a shit. It's, it's yeah. really important to do in a good knee properly, uh, execution, and then the performance gets. How did that go? Jesus? Very nice. He ended the event. It was the, it was the goal. It's very difficult to make the overhead walking lunges after so many rock climbs and running because the stability on the midline is really hard and also the arms are pretty jacked from the rope climbs. So it was a nice bend, and I think a lot of guys are gonna run too fast, and they're gonna fail on the overhead walking lunges. So a good event, and also a nice feeling as the goal has been obtained and the wall has been finished on Tanka. By the way, can you show us your star tattoo? Yes, sure. Very. So. Uh, <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh, you know, you know our yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't know anything about, no. about my bet. What, what, what kind of a okay. bet? Okay, as you know, I'm taking care of the YouTube channel. Yeah. So, if the YouTube channel gets 50,000 subscribers, yeah, I get a program tattoo. Oh, how nice! Yeah. I, I got it even without uh, having some subscribers or followers. So. <laughs> well, John thinks it, it could be possible. I think, no, I'd like to think with your support. <laughs> thank you. Thank not you. yours, the viewers. Oh, oh, come on, John. We mine will, as well. We will be there by, okay, let's put, a, let's put a big target. Let's say games next year. Okay. We're going to get Manu the tattoo with 50,000 subscribers. And we're going to get it live. In life. At the games. At the games. Cool. Did you say to me that there's a gym with a tattoo artist? There's a story from Rogue where I, I designed a tattoo that Christoph has. <laughs> so he has a smiley face on his bum. I designed. <laughs> Tattoos are seeming to be like a thing. But uh, but yeah. Yeah, okay, but that's like sounds like a good challenge. I think we're at like seven wow. we're like September tenth or whatever now. We're at like seven thousand subscribers. So we need to get I don't know, like five 5,000 a month or something. We're gonna have to go, we're gonna need a little exponential growth at the end, but you know, let's keep pushing this. It's going on the calf, right calf. Yeah, this is exciting. How how big? Like the whole calf. No, not the whole calf. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Don went, Don went hard. Yeah. Your calves I, I, actually, aren't, your calves do aren't you have to beat that? Where well, your calves no, aren't you big don't, enough. You don't have to beat that. <laughs> What do we got next? Um, so first one went quite good. Um, now we are heading in about two hours to the Rooster Arena. And then we got handstand sandbag, handstand push-up sandbag. So we got deficit handstand push-ups, and we got uh, sandbag cleans, and we have uh, sandbag carry, which I don't know how far it will be, 
but um, it's really good. Well, since juggling in the games, I think sandbags will be our speciality. Yeah, <laughs> and especially as Anine is Norwegian, uh, so she got yes. a bit of pressure. <laughs> Um, she had she got do good. everything on uh, her jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Anin. <laughs> Thank you. It was a really good rush, actually. Huh? Yeah, because absolutely. You were actually second, starting in the sandbag, and then, yeah. I don't know, suddenly she started <laughs> first. Which was the moment? Like, did you realize or? Um, probably on the cleans. Yeah. When we started doing the cleans, and I saw her like dropping between each one. I was like, okay, this is my chance. You just have to do the man broken, you know? Yeah. Or touch and go at least. Yeah, the ticket uh, was touch and go, for sure. And then after that, I just thought, you just have to hold on now. Just do as quick as you can. Just push through. <laughs> okay, so next move? Next now? move? Yeah. Um, going around here, maybe shopping a little bit, uh -huh. you know? Having some fun, going home, resting, eating a lot. What, what's the plan today? The plan today is the same like yesterday. Um, it's don't fucking move from the top spot of the leaderboard. <laughs> That's a really, that sounds like a really good plan. Yeah. <laughs> so most of the time the simple plans are the best ones. That sounds <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I crossed the competition, how did that go? Oh, it was really good, yeah, yesterday was a lot of gymnastics, so I had two really good finishes, one 11th place and one 8th, so uh, yeah, that pushed me up quite far, so now I'm, I think yeah. I'm 17th place. Until yeah. the last heat. Yeah, last yeah, heat, yeah. That's the big guys. Yes, that's, uh, it's really fun, it's really fun to see, uh, yeah. It's how is the sensation to have uh, next to you some athletes that push you harder? Uh, it's so much better. It's a lot easier than to push if you know uh, he's going right next to me and he's uh, around the same pace. And it's also cool, you know, in the warm up and uh, yeah, backstage before you go out it's to see like, oh, I'm here with all the games athletes in the same heat. So yeah, that's a cool experience. <laughs> and also, uh, how did that go with the joke? With the what? With the joke? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, it's it was quite heavy. I mean, not super heavy, 230 kilos. But with the GHDs, the legs were quite tired already, and also from the past days, um, they all felt a bit heavier than it should, but that's okay. Okay, so now next workout will be gymnastics again. Yeah, some pull ups or chest bar pull ups, and then uh, yeah, a lot of legs, a lot of legs, uh, eco bike, heavy dumbbell thrusters, and then the tank push. You can't wait for it or what? Yeah, I, I <laughs> like the gymnastics part, and then we'll see what happens on the. Especially. Okay, we will stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Nice, like yeah. you, you're in the first place, like wow. during all the weekend, right? Yes. So that's fun. How do you feel, like guard, being the guarder or the first place? You know? It's uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But you know, it's also a little scary sometimes. But I think it's I think it's fine. What do I see there? Uh -huh. Program, of course. <laughs> right, right. So you got two tattoos. Yeah. One wasn't enough. <laughs> no, me too. Uh, it went better than I expected. I struggled a lot with GHDs, so I was really nervous for that workout. Yeah. Uh, and I was just really looking forward to getting it done. Uh, and I got a third place, which I was happy about because it was better than I would have expected. Uh, actually, it's not important to win, just being a good average, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. 
How do you feel with the next one? Chest to bars? What do you we got? Chest to bars, uh, echo bike, yeah. dumbbell thrusters, and something called what's it called? Tank tank push or something? Tank push. Yeah, I've oh. never tried it, but it's similar to sled push. Yeah, I think, I think I, I've already yeah. seen it in in teams. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, it was a very tough competition, maybe one of the, the best that I was and a lot of things to work right now, a lot of things to, to focus uh, on the season or to, to focus the, the next quarterfinals uh, open also and with a lot of uh, oh, many things that uh, we have to play to look on, on myself and to work with Raul and the program the and that's it, that's all, it is what it is, yeah. But when you are in the arena, it's not the same. There is stress, there are things that there are a lot of many elements that maybe destroy your strategies and I stay focused and I think it's what what my my, my lesson for this competition. That was really fun. I was always in like lane 10. So yeah. I was in the middle always, it was really cool. Did you focus in any sense with your training with Dom, uh, preparing this competition? Uh, no, not, not at all, no, not really. So <laughs> Actually, we, I don't think so. We, we kind of kept training. Um, so the week before, obviously, we prepared a bit more for the events. Um, and the day before to have like the feeling how it feels but all in all we took this like a full training so show her skills <laughs> yeah.